one of the really cool things you can do with the quizzes is that you can set it as a homework assignment. So just make sure you're logged in first, and then go to your quizzes, and then you can click on the quiz that you want, and you get some options here. Uh, you get all the stuff that you pretty much get with Kahoot. You can review questions, you can edit them right from there, uh, and then you can also play live or do homework, and we're gonna do homework first. You can see the first thing you can do is you can set a date that you want them to play by, and we'll actually lock down the quizzes once it passes that date, and there's question settings, uh, all very similar to the ones that Kahoot has, where it's you get points based off of how quick you answer, answer. Uh, you can have the answers and the questions shuffled and stuff like that. And when you're done, you just hit proceed and it gives you a link and a game code. Uh, so you can give the kids that link and then you can also give them the game code they can put in. But if you have Google Classroom, they pair together really well. Just click on Google, add to Google Classroom. And then from there, you can choose a class that you want it to be added to. You can choose multiple classes later on, but you just need to choose one to start with. And then you're going to hit create assignment and then hit go and then it gives you what the post would look like. Uh, it just basically what it is exactly gonna show up on the stream. And that's when you can pick the assignments or the different classes that you want it to be posted to. So you can post it to multiple ones. You can change the title and the directions. You can give it a due date on here. So that way they know that there's a due date. It's not just on the quizzes. And then you can also select a tag uh, to make a topic for it as well. And then you can schedule this to go off later in the day. You can set it as a draft. That way you can go back and post it when you want. Uh, and once you do post it, you can click view and then it'll take you directly to your Google Classroom and it's posted at the top of the stream. And then from there, you can see students that have taken it or haven't taken it. Uh, when kids click on that link, uh, it's going to show up as the quizzes game, uh, which is you put your, they're already going to be logged in because they went through Google Classroom. They just need to put their name in there and they can join the game. They don't actually need a code for this. If you set it up correctly, it's just something that's going to exist right there. Uh, we're not going to play right now. We're going to go and we'll, we'll just play the live version. Uh, and if I hit end game, uh, this is where it'll give you all of the stats and stuff that the game is being uh, run uh, for the homework assignment. Uh, but we're just going to click on it and go back and do play live. And it gives you the same thing. You can set up all the different question setting options and answer options directly from there. And then you can hit proceed. And it looks very similar to the Kahoot. Uh, you give the kids join.quizzes.com and then they get the code. Uh, one of the cool things you can do is you can just post that on Google Classroom. Just have that as a part of the hub, uh, the join.quizzes.com. That way they can click on it. Same thing with Kahoot. Make it a bookmark if it's something that you use often. Uh, you can share it to Google Classroom right from there. So they could just click on it and get in. And they can put in the code and they put in the name. And it's going to be the same thing uh, on the teacher side as Kahoot is. You can see all the different names pop up. You can see how many people are in there. That way you know when to start the game. Uh, with quizzes, kids get a, uh, a little like character. Uh, the characters randomly assigned. It's not something that you they get to pick. So kids are always really excited about which character they got, which little uh, cartoon weird guy that they got to start the game with. And then the kids see this countdown when you start the game. And the kids get the question and the answer on their screen at once. Uh, you'll notice that the timer gauge kind of drops down so that we can see it. Uh, the teacher sees a giant dashboard of all of the kids taking it. So if I get a wrong answer, and this is one of the cool parts the kids love, is the meme in between each question, whether you got one right or wrong. You can create your own memes to go with it with like teachers from the building, uh, which the kids are obsessed with. Uh, and then it'll give you a uh, little, the blue means that they haven't answered it yet. Red means they got a question wrong. Green means that the question was correct. So if I get one correct here, you get points, you get a different meme. And then the teacher can see that progress the entire time. They can see individual students. They can see whole class on there as well. And at the end of the game, it gives the kids the rank of where they finished the game. And this is self-paced for them. So they can take this as quickly as they want or uh, as slow as they want. So it's not like Kahoot where it's all right as, together at the same time. It's something that it's a little bit more private and the questions and the answers are right on their screen. Uh, but with the same thing with Kahoot, uh, the teacher is able to get a whole bunch of data based off of this. Uh, the other option that it quizzes has that Kahoot doesn't is it gives the kids the answers, the questions, and reviews them at the end. So they can actually go back through and look at the ones they got wrong, and then that way they can figure out those correct answers.
But the teacher goes back, you can download an Excel sheet of all the results, and the results look very similar to the Kahoot results where it gives you uh, questions wrong in red, questions correct, correct in green. It's a very nice, easy visual to just look at this sheet and say, this is a problem question. Uh, this is a subject area that we need to review again. Now, my kids already know, my kids already know, and I don't need to teach it if you're using it as a pre-assessment uh, or kids individually might need a little bit more help on something before the test. And in the report section, it does the same thing. It'll tell you uh, the accuracy or for each question and for these students as a whole as well.